Hello everyone, I'm Stephen Bartkus, the Executive Director of the Ridgefield Historical Society, and I'd like to welcome all of you to the Ridgefield History Club here at the Scott House at 4 Sunset Lane in Ridgefield, Connecticut. Today's date is Tuesday, November 21st, 2023. The Ridgefield Historical Society is dedicated to preserving and sharing Ridgefield's historical, cultural, and architectural heritage from the indigenous people who lived here 10,000 years ago all the way up to the present day. We welcome everyone to get involved here by becoming a volunteer, a member, or a donor of the Richfield Historical Society. We are lucky today to have town historian Kay Abels and Jack Sanders, who has written over 10 books on Richfield's history and attendance. For today's gathering, photographing Richfield with Clarence Corker. Clarence was a longtime photographer of Richfield people, places, and the former owner of the Richfield Photoshop and he snapped thousands of photographs during his 40-year career in the mid-1900s, which are now part of the Ridgefield Historical Society's collection and are currently being digitized by Historical Society volunteer uh, Keith Russell. And we thank the Ridgefield Thrift Shop for their very generous grant, which allowed the purchase of the scanning equipment, which is making these amazing photographs that were taken by Clarence available to the public in the Ridgefield Historical Society's online database, which you can access by going to ridgefieldhistoricalsociety.org. So this discussion is going to be devoted to looking at some of Corker's photographs that Keith has digitized and reminiscing about uh, Ridgefield's past and hopefully identifying some of the places and people in his photographs. Um, I'd like to start the program by uh, quickly going around the room, and if everyone could uh, introduce themselves for the recording, that would be very helpful. Let's start right here. Hi, I'm Mac Reed, uh, longtime Ridgefielder. I'm Terry McManus, archivist for Ridgefield Garden Club. Jack Sanders. Sal Sanders. Jim Mullen. Lynn Mullen. Pat Michaels. Kay Abel. Keith Russell. Barbara Sir Filippi. Elaine Kellerman. Pete Nichols, Ray Sementini, Tom Wilhelm, Sherry Wilhelm, and Corky, nobody ever knew him as Clarence, uh, is my second cousin. My grandfather and his grandmother were sisters. And his grandmother was born in Germany, so was much older than since I'm not 98 years old like he is. <laughs> Though I might look oh, well. it. <laughs> but, um, so he's you know, we've, I've known him since I've been a child, so. Betsy Reed. Thank you all for joining us today. Um, does anyone want to start with sharing some memories about Corky? Um, did you ever have your film developed in his uh, Photoshop here at Ridgefield? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Do you have any stories to share, Jack? Well, um, back in uh, 2020, I asked Corky if he would send me an autobiography, and um, he did. So I brought it along. It's short, <laughs> which is not surprising since he adds at the end of it, I am not a good writer. That was why I became a photographer. <laughs> I can't spell, and I can't write a story. But he did write down some interesting facts about his life. He was born in New Canaan on March 9, 1925. After the 1929 crash, we lost everything. We moved all over Fairfield County and wound up in Westport in 39 or 40. In 41, the war started, and in 42, I tried to join the Navy, but my father and mother would not sign for me. On March 6th, they called me to duty, the military. I went to the Sampson Naval Training Station for boot camp. There is a long story how I became a Navy photographer. If you would like, I will give it to you at another time. He has not done that yet. <laughs> After my service in the Navy, I had a studio in Danbury. It did not make out too well. I was offered a job in Dallas, Texas as an office manager in a real estate office. Uh, a 
I spent about a year there and came back. I had no place to live. Jerry and I had been dating uh, before I went to Dallas. Her mother and father said they had a room to rent, so I took it. Worked in Bridgeport at Parker's studio taking baby pictures. Um, Jerry and I got married in October, on October 30th, 1949. And I worked for her father in the lumber business. In April 1951, we purchased the Richfield Photo uh, Shop and Studio from the Gordons. That's Frank Gordon, who had operated it since around World War II. And I moved to Richfield in June of 1951 and rented a house from Charles Gay on Oscalita Road. We built our own house on Silver Birch Lane, um, had been in three locations with the store, worked the shop and studio for 40 years, sold it in June 1991. And uh, he, uh, he and Jerry had for years at a, a place in uh, Florida. What's the name of it? Felsmere. Felsmere, right. East there. We went to, to visit him there once, and an uh, amazing little town in what seemed like a jungle, uh, about 20 miles inland from the, uh, the east coast of Florida. Vera, Vera Beach. Beach. Yeah. Yeah. And it it's, uh, very, was very wild country. During the Depression, he lived with my grandfather. Everybody yeah. moved in with each other. And um, he said he was a pain in the neck of a kid. If you knew Corky's personality, you'd see why. He's really funny. But anyway, um, I guess he had a mentor that um, was a really nice man who gave him a small camera. And that was history. I mean, he just fell in love with this camera. And um, How old was he when he did that? He was probably 15, something like that. You know, he was a young man. He used to fight. My grandfather had a, had a temper, and um, they were, uh, he was always like jerking my grandfather's chain, he said. You know? <laughs> so that's why they moved to Westport, because finally my grandfather says, you can't stay here anymore. You're going to be <laughs> such a brat. So, yeah. But I, really, if you, he may not be a good writer, but he would, if he was sitting here today, We'd be here till 4 o'clock this afternoon because he is the best storyteller, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. We see him each February when we're in Florida. Yeah. And he's just 98. Well, he was, he's as sharp as a tack. He was still driving. I'm not sure he still is. But two years ago, he was driving and he scary. rode with him. It was a little scary. He's got like a 1995 car or something. It's, like a, big it's tank. Like, a, like a tank he drives around in. So it's, it's an interesting experience being with him. Oh, he's wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, does anyone else have any other stories or memories to share about Corky here in Ridgefield or bringing your film to be developed at his shop? <laughs> he, he did a lot of restoration photography for my parents. You know, he restored many um, documents and things like that. I think the beginning of the end was digital photography. He said, you know, when that started to come in, then, you know, he just couldn't keep up with things and so forth. But um, he did my wedding pictures. He was obviously the photographer for Stonehenge for many years and, you know, has lots of stories about Dan famous famous people. Well, Danbury Ferry was a photographer there for a long yeah. time. Actually, um, the Danbury Museum Historical Society has a great uh, Danbury Fair um, display of photographs. And I always think to myself, Corky probably took many of these. Right. right. Um, and Keith Russell uh, put this wonderful um, photo show together for us today. Uh, so we're going to look at some of uh, Corky's photographs. Um, but before I get into that, uh, Keith, do you want to talk a little bit about the process of sure. turning Corky's negatives into photographs that people could see after um, decades of being um, stored in the archive? Sure. Um, we have downstairs. I started about uh, three months ago, um, just to kind of give you a little perspective. 
And downstairs here in the vault, we have many, many boxes of these negatives, um, thousands and thousands. Now, just to give you an idea, um, I kind of figured out in this box, there's probably about almost a thousand photos, uh, negatives, and so we have quite a quite a number. Wow. But, um, thanks to um, the, really the great equipment that we have here, which was uh, purchased within, I guess, the last year. Um, Kevin Juliar, big shout out to Kevin because he put together the really good, wonderful um, IT system that the Historical Society has now here with the scanner and the, and the computers and everything, which made makes uh, my life a lot easier <laughs> with uh, fast equipment. Um, so what we do is we take what's in this box, I pulled this out just to kind of give you an example, is um, thousands of these little envelopes, which on the outside of it will just, in most cases, have a, a name and a date. Wow. But the name on the, on the envelope may not correspond with what's on, the, what the photo actually is. So this is actually, this is a photo negative. So this is what we do. And we take this and we have a scanner uh, designed for these specifically, scan them in to our system here. And then, um, then we have a digital copy then of this and it's um, stored on the server. So in case something should happen, we don't have a, a massive copy of that. So um, just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of a perspective on, on what's involved here. So what you're gonna see on the screen is, um, and we may not get to all these today, but um, put up a photo, and then at the bottom, I put in the name and the date exactly the way it's on the envelope. And that's all the information we have. <laughs> now, we met with, Betsy and I, we met with uh, uh, Pat, Sally, and Barb uh, what, about a month ago or so, and, uh, and they really helped us a lot. With, we went, spent about three hours going through a bunch of the negatives, and they were actually able to provide some of the information on it. And Betsy was taking notes and writing all this down, which Betsy's going to take over here in a minute, and then um, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. But she's going to write down what, what, uh, what the folks uh, can contribute today for us. So the, the, the idea, the goal, really, what we like to try to get out of this is if you can provide, if you recognize faces, you know where the event is that's taking place, if you can provide that for us so that we have a uh, bright, broader scope, and then we take that information and we put it right in the file uh, that we have for that particular uh, co photo collection. Mm. Great. Okay. Thank you. So well, before I start, uh, since Kay is here, our town historian, I thought maybe she might tell us how we came by this collection. You don't remember? I'll try. It's been a while. Do you remember who gave it to us? Was it Paul Corker? Um, was it the press check? No. 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 So I think it was maybe. I don't know. Paul. I would say Paul, Paul would gave have it to us. He who lives there with Corky yeah. now, so. Oh, okay. So. All oh, right. It was Paul. Yep. It was Paul. And and as Keith said, there are thousands and thousands of them, and we've had them for quite a while, I would say 10 years, and they have been uncatalogued. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is taking each negative, because they're <coughs> kind of crushed into these little envelopes, is we're putting them in archival sleeves, each negative, so that we can preserve them. Um, and so Keith and I picked out some of the things that he's done today. We're hoping for IDs. They're also really fun to look at. Um, and we're hoping if this goes well, that we'll do this every now and then. We'll just keep digitizing them and we'll putting them on the screen and get help from people who come to help identify. So The time clock's ticking, and honestly, Corky has the best memory. I mean, if you, we look at photographs from 50 years ago, he'll say, that's who that is. That's, mm -hmm. This is where we were. Well, I mean, idea. so, I mean, he will. We'll share them with him, too. There's no question about that he can help you with those things. I guess we're ready then. Let's take a look. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think this pro this this has been identified. Yeah. 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 Who well, are they? <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> this has been identified. I think Jack ran this in the press, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, we we did it at our and we did it. I Duncan Smith is on the right. That's mm -hmm. Betty Grace Nash's 
grandfather. The guy next to him is a retired dentist. I can't remember his name. But we do. We do, we do have IDs for this. Does anybody know of them? This was 1952. I love the socks. <laughs> I know, in town hall, pretty much the same. And everybody wearing hats. That used to be a hangout for uh, yeah. the uh, geezers in town. <laughs> <laughs> get together and just chat. Every day. Yeah. Every day. So do we all go there now? <laughs> <laughs> I think they have a real bench there now. Yeah, they have a real bench. We used to call that the bum bench. <laughs> well, that's Frank Parks who says, says, always sit there. All, in it, so. yeah. all right. Manisi, 1955. Anybody know this family? Well, is that the Taylor? Manisi? Yeah. I Taylor. think so. And and the Taylor and okay, Whoa. so his, his daughter lives right over here in the apartments. So we just Ooh. need to get Adele in, and she can probably give you the name for Adele? Adele Anisi is, um, she's a writer. She mm, teaches yeah, writing. I remember her. Yeah. She wrote for the press for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, oh, she has a new book out. What? She's about her mother, in it, right? Yeah. Her, I wonder if she, that is her, her mother, mother. Her mother was related to... Oh. Nancy Cervadio. Cervadio. To yes. the Cervadios. To the Cervadios. Yes. Her, her, her grandfather, the, the bride's father came over to work on estates, and then she came in, when she was in her 20s, I think, because um, her father wasn't well, and she came to take care of him. And I remember Adele saying they lived on Bailey Avenue mm -hmm. at, at one point, down in the in the granary, I think. Were there apartments <coughs> in there? The Cervadio family that lived right on Prospect Street. On Prospect Street. Yeah. Well, I don't think right they lived with the Cervadios, but I... It yeah. was they Nancy Cervadio that Nancy used to work in the... Um, that, hall. That, that family. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Her sister, Dorothy um, Stern. Yeah, because Nancy Cervadio was able to help... I can't remember her first name. Her get a visa. She was, she was here on an yeah. emergency. No, the, the mom, oh. the bride here, um, was able to help her get a, a visa to stay. She had come, I think, without papers, maybe just as a visitor, but she wanted to stay to help her father, and they got some kind of emergency relief through senators. Ooh, I can't remember which senator. It's in Scott House Journal from a, like a couple years ago. Wasn't she, good her husband a tailor? He was. Yeah. They and then she took it over. Took it over. <laughs> and, and they and they actually had their shop in this in building. This building. In this building. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, that's cool. yeah. that's then, Nancy Cervadio at the left at the end. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Yes, that's Nancy. Oh. Yes. She was Leo Carroll's secretary. Oh yeah. Yeah, Louis Foster. Miss Leonard. She was for all of them. There's a tree next mm -hmm. to the, is it the photo? Right on Katona right Street. Right on Katona Street. Street dedicated to Nancy Cervadio. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The insurance company. That's right. And what about the guy on the right? I don't know. Maybe a father? But his father? I don't know. Well, uh, Mr. Anisi wasn't from Richfield, so it could have been a friend from somewhere else. So I can't see the bottom of this, but it says Boy Scouts of America, 1955. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Harry Hall. Harry Hall, yeah. 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 the first selectman, but we couldn't figure out who the boy was. Right, we looked at that. Yeah. Yeah. Some of these are yeah. Yeah. No one can identify the young man. That's a town hall. What's the calendar? Gordon Walsh. What year is it back? Yeah, 55. Yeah. I was going to be in two in two more years. Where is this coffee shop? Yeah, where is, is this yeah, on? Is this out on Route Seven? Thirty-five and Seven. That's where Richfield European Motors. It's not the what, diner. Uh, the the Rudiman's diner. diner, diner was? Was? Yeah. This looks like it used yeah, to be a gas that's station. That's <laughs> that's 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 yeah, I think you might be right, Jack. And then it became Rudiman's. Yeah. 
So it's where the Ridgefield Diner was, way up? No, yeah. Where yes. the BMW? Yes. Yes. We think. I don't, I don't even know if that's Ridgefield. Really? That's about the right time. There's the inside. No one recognizes the inside of that coffee shop? Would that be the same one we just... Yes, this is the same uh, the three, three Yeah, it's the same place. No? The dial. The dial. I'm sure he could. Yeah. Community Center 1955. That's what we had on the envelope, but we don't know anything about what they're doing or. Uh, it looks like maybe a uh, play, maybe they might be looking at a script or something. I think the lady in the back row, mm -hmm. on the extreme right, was Mrs. Hall. She looks like she's going to identify. Mrs. Mrs. Who? And the fellow next door, I think his name was Kelly. I can't remember his first name. His mother owned Violet Kelly. That's her son. Uh, the others, I don't know. The man in back isn't, uh, in the, the tie isn't Harvey Tanton, is it? What's that? Could be. No. No. Charlotte Hoyt's next to me, David Schofield's in the back, uh, Pete Walters. Um, I think that's Bob Mann in, in, uh, by the first door that he just passed away. He was in our class. Uh, and then Irving Conklin in front, right? And Mr. Conklin is handing the keys to the driver. That's Isn't Peggy, that? o that's Peggy, Peggy O'Keefe. Dr. Izzo. Mr. Holloran. Uh, Chick Chicoli is over on the left. Oh, with the half strike tie. That Mr. One, Pat at the far left, the driver's ed teacher, see him? You can only see half his face. Oh, yes, that was part yeah, one. He was, yeah. he was a driver's ed teacher. Yes. Who was behind the wheel? Yeah. Peggy O'Keefe. Peggy O'Keefe. I noticed the door says yeah. dual controls, so the dry, dry, the yeah. teacher had yeah. brakes. <laughs> 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 that makes sense. And they were still wearing hats. I don't think they were still wearing hats. They were still wearing hats. They're coming back. Mm -hmm. I watched on TV last night. Mm -hmm. And then all had hats on. Nice. Here's a Stonehenge photo. Yeah, this one we don't know. This, uh, we believe, was at Stonehenge. Mm -hmm. Sally, didn't we identify We identified the, the, the guy on the right. On the right and the woman. No, we didn't get the woman, I don't think. No, I don't think we did. An actor named Doolins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was that, a restaurant? Yeah. Yeah, we had yeah, Stonehenge. Yeah, this was at, you uh, must have Stonehenge. those notes, Bets. Yeah. That's right. Stonehenge. Yeah. But the man on the left, does anyone recognize him? Yeah. Is he a celebrity or? No one seems to know. Are nope. you getting quirky? Consuelo? Consuelo Vanderbilt Earl. They're famous dogs. Yeah, they're famous dogs. And she lived on, uh, where did she live? Up on West Mountain? Yes. Ripple Bomb? Yeah. And then we put this picture in because... This is her living room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Wow. Oh, look at that. 
<laughs> it takes a second to realize that. That's just one wall. Oh my yeah. gosh. Yeah. With your trophies. Right? Mm -hmm. All the photographs. You can see the dial phone in the mm -hmm. left, lower left corner there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot going on in that room. Yeah. yeah. There's, There's a lot going on. I think it does that room. I wonder what the trophies are for. Oh, 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 Ripple on Rose? She, she raised, she raised them, yeah. sold them. Yeah, but she had one. So. Oh. Yeah. Okay. The more you look at this picture, the more stuff you see. Oh, yeah. You must have seen this stuff. Yeah. 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 This uh, it says uh, John Elliott, 1956, and this is one of a collection of five photos that we have in here. And um, we did. I don't know whether he's on the So those well, take the pictures of the lady. Do you know if Corky took pictures for the White Barn Theater or Westport Playhouse? Yeah. Don't know. I don't know that, but I can ask him. Yeah, because we were we were thinking this might not be in Ridgefield, mm -hmm. but right. Mm -hmm. Good question. White Barn Theater was a mile from my house, so. Mm. Does this look any way like? It's hard for me to remember. Yeah. In the background, there were paintings. It looked like there might have been an, it was an art show. Mm. Where was the White Barn Theater? Newtown. Yeah, Newtown Road on mm. Norwalk, up in the Cranberry section, close to the mm. rich um, Westport border. Mm. Okay. If you remember the Red Barn restaurant, yeah, yeah. yeah. it was real close yeah. to that. We think um, that makes sense about a theater because in the next couple of photos, mm -hmm. yes. now this is inside the building that you just saw. Mm -hmm. I think this is the same woman that was standing at the door. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. <laughs> On her toes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. oh, there's a the woman in the center. What is that? Gadget that she's standing yeah. at. It's got a speaker. Looks like a speaker. Looks like a speaker. Speaker. There are it's wires got a, underneath. It's yeah. got a thing coming out of the side where yeah. her left hand is. Yeah. It's not a lectern. I wonder if she was narrating. So that's what it appears to be. It could out. be a theremin. Well, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. 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 a microphone. Yeah. Yeah. A microphone. Yeah. instrument called yeah. a theremin. Oh. The theremin has the, the thing going off to the side like. She oh, has to make there. The spooky noises. Yeah. 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 Oh. I have one at home actually. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, it's called a theremin. A theremin. T H E R E M I N. Oh wow. Oh. It could be. It would be sitting on top of something. The theremin itself is just a box with a thing going out the side. And then you plug it into a, a speaker, which maybe is what's below there. Yeah, yeah. that's definitely right. a speaker. Yeah. And right. you would play it <laughs> kind of how what she's doing there. Yeah. How do you play it? You you your your hands go like this to make the different sounds and oh, really? yeah. hmm. it's kind of like doing a, putting your a wet finger around a glass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh yeah. So, this, this had to be the theater, something. Yeah. Theater. Some sort of performance. Yeah. Uh, well, you've got to be. We can do yeah. this. Yeah. Fires and fires setting up for the ball. Dino Bellagosa. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Six. Oh, what's his name? Uh, Arrow. Pucci. What was his last name? Arrow. Uh, Pucci. No, Pucci. No, no. Uh, yeah. He's in the second row. Uh, Santini. Oh, oh. Granny Moylan. Granny Moylan and Santini next to him. Uh, Sai. Cy Tarsi. Cy Tarsi. Cy Tarsi in the middle. Mm -hmm. Errol Bucciati at the end. The back row. I don't know where that goes. Mm -hmm. And the one on the 
extreme right, I think, is uh, Frula, not Jack, but George. George. They're all going to have to work on the posture, you know? some context to this, there were several other photos in, in this envelope. Um, they were all of a, a big, like a big tent uh, from the inside, looked like maybe on a parking lot. Yeah, that's what it's called. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah there, was no, there was no people in these photos. It was uh -huh. just, and they, and they were sort of faded and not very good quality. So it was so originally in the CBS parking lot. Then it was at a tennis court, wasn't it? Yeah. The tennis court? It used to be at the old high school yeah. tennis courts, too. Yeah. 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 Rodney Anderson. Rodney Anderson. Rodney Anderson. Yeah, Rodney Anderson. Whereabouts? Next to the first row on the right. On the extreme right. He was my neighbor. I can't recommend him. It's John in the right. No. And then Mano. And then I think John is in between Mr. Ancona and oh. and uh Nano. Mm -hmm. and, and where is that Sacred Heart? Mm -hmm. Church. That's what we thought, mm -hmm. Sally. Yeah. That's where I think that mm -hmm. statue is. No. Oh, that's my cousin. Oh my gosh. Oh. Got, uh, Back on trails. Yeah, oh, Carol, that's Carol. Yeah. She yeah. passed away, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. She's your cousin? Yeah. Oh. This is my father's. Let's see. All right. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> wow. That was my father's sister's daughter. Daughter. Right. Okay. Yeah. Also, oh, yeah. first cousin. Yeah. yeah. Right. Now this one actually snuck in <laughs> to the collection. This is 1942, so this would have actually been from the Frank Gordon. Brewerd Avenue. They lived. They lived up. Um, here. Right up. Right, right up right here. Right next right to right the here. drive to the. Uh, um, right up to the building. Where's yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. To Slumberjay. You can see the back of it if you go into ACT or to the um, uh, studio there, the design studio. He had big trucks. Big truck. He was a big, trucker. Big, big, but Jim Walter Mays had big, big trucks. Right. Over the road. Tractor trailers. Oh, but is yeah. that one of them, Jim? Huh? Is that one of them? I don't know. No, I don't think that's the same Gibraltar Mays family. No. But they always lived on that. Yeah. The family, I don't know. It's the same members, but the family always lives. Yes, the family lived there. Lived there but yes. I, don't, I don't know who those people are. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. Well, it yeah, almost no. touches the um, mm -hmm. Quest Lab. Is. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, in the back. If you, if you go in the back, Quest Lab, you can walk right into the Quest Lab. second one from the left, Patty. Yeah. Where did she say? I'm wondering if the little girl was Josephine Cabartlemay. That's all I'm thinking. Was it Josephine? negative is uh, 80 years old. Amazing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Good it is. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. They're an amazing shoe. Yeah. That's John Haight on the left. Oh, yeah. Dr. Oh, Dr. Phil Martin on the right. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that for the start? Yes. Yeah, black mm -hmm. dedication. I, I, I think that dedication was in the old high school, wasn't it? Right. He was killed in World War II. Yeah. Walt Scott lived in North Street and he was his son. And I right. was uh, in student council and they dedicated to mm -hmm. I wonder where it is today. Yes. Harold Scott. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
probably yeah. right where it was to begin with, I would guess. Right, right. The old high school? In the old high we'll have to check. Yeah. What hallway was it in? Do you remember? I think it was right by the main entrance. in because we thought you might enjoy Carl looks older than a 56. Yeah, he's not a 56. You lived in our house before we bought it. Yeah, I knew the Way back there, somewhere. Uh, manual transmission. Yeah. And we, we were amazed in, in scanning this and bringing it up how the detail came out. Yeah. You, know, you can really see all the details. Yeah. 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 I wonder where that is. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? That yeah. is amazing. Yeah. The Inksters yeah. lived on Main Street. Oh, Main Street? Yeah. yeah. It's it's right, 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 right by the fountain. Wow. Well. So and Pat was saying, the, Sally, that Dr. Inkster like lived in our house on the street. Dials and pattern in yeah. the wood. Yeah. yeah, and then we bought it, I guess, from him. And he moved up there. And his wife was a doctor, too. Yeah, and they had an office in the house. You could roll them down with a push in the front. That's right, exactly. And the Earl's walnut in the dashboard test. Yeah. Yeah. The detail that was amazing. Isn't that? Yeah. You can see there's a clock there. You can see the numbers and stuff. Yeah. 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 Very cool car. It's like wood grain. It almost looks like a cell phone on the dashboard. We were trying to figure out in the photo what looks like drawers. Yeah. 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 That's a heater. heater. That's a heater. It was a heater. No, you, can, you can open and close those. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Get one. Oh. Yeah. 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 Drawers. I don't know. I think it was electric. Wasn't it electric heaters that were in there? No. Those? Probably, no. Not. Probably not. Probably not. Huh. Probably got the heat from the exhaust. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I bet yeah. everybody yeah. in this room yeah. can drive yeah. more on the floor. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So my kids would be like, you have to die. I can't get to the hospital. Oh, I did too. Yeah. That's what I learned to drive. Yeah, hand crank windows. Yeah, yeah. Those were the days. Ask your grandkids what those are. They're like, what? That's a great picture. Yeah. Your car, the one converted. Oh my God. This has a lot of faces. Dance crew. Wow. The three girls, the three girls, the tall ones in the back, are, are all from the class of 1960. Yes. First Meg Young, and then Diane Casey Brown is in the middle, and then Elizabeth Ann. Wow. Oh, that's Liz. 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 That lived on your street. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my. Look Costumes at the hair. Costumes are great, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Barbara, where did you think Mumu was? Uh, on the back row, Next to one to the third one, in, um, on the uh, very back side? row. Right I don't know. I don't, well, I don't think so in second no. row. No. No. She, she would have been five years seen. younger than Diane Casey. Oh, what would that be? Five or mm. six years younger. She would have been so. in our class. That third girl right. ain't from the back row. Next to Meg? Yes. Where, where's Meg Young? Fourth oh. one in. From the, the back row. One, two, right. three, from four, five, from six. Oh, from six. The left side. So right Diane. in the middle is Diane Casey Brown. Yeah. That's right in the middle. And then to the left of Diane Casey Brown is Meg Young. And to the right of her is Elizabeth Davis. Is the tall girl in the middle, Meg? Yeah. No, the tall girl is Diane Casey. Casey. Di yeah, they're about head the down. same height. With her head. With the the head, 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 head. 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 Diane <laughs> typically has got her eyes looking down. Yeah. 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 That's Diane. Is one to the left of her is Meg? Meg. 
Yeah. 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 lived across the street from me. Yes, I wouldn't right even recognize her. <laughs> and she had a sister, Bonnie. Yeah. Yes. Over. Now, who was Janice December? Is that the name of? She was the teacher. teacher. She yeah. was the teacher. Oh. So she was before. Who was the one who all our kids? McDonald. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. yeah. Her, her, her husband Sally. was a yeah. pharmacist. He yeah. Yeah. December right. drugs. Oh, December drugs. Oh, yeah. December drugs. Oh my God. Is, is the one nickname the next one? Yeah, but that's us. Joan McDonald. Right. Right. Joan McDonald. Right. Would you guys, the one, not Meg Young, and then there's somebody, the next one, is that Marie's parent? Would anybody know? Would you guys? Hey, Corky. Marie's parent lived on Corky? the street. Right, you would know. Is that her, Jen? Yeah. Like yeah. It's Sherry. Yeah. I have some photos. So, um, if you look at your... Anybody here in that photo? Phone, <laughs> <and see what's laughs> St. Mary's. They wouldn't be, no, there's three, what, what is it, 41? No, there was that's the clubhouse. Oh, that's the clubhouse. That's St. Mary's clubhouse. You're right, Jane. Yeah. 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 Upstairs. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I love this. It's a backyard wedding with a picnic table and everything. It's just Your so scanner uh, it can do color negatives too. Yes. Uh, yes. All sizes. Yeah, all sizes. So th these color shots are actually a different size negative from the one that I showed you. Um, these color shots are from negatives that are about two inches by two inches, so they're much smaller. Mm -hmm. And the scanner was able to actually pick up the detail and blow it up you know, for us. Yeah. Yeah, right? And then, um, yeah. But all, all the rest of the black and whites that we have scanned have been that, that same size. Mm -hmm. that, that it's about four inches by five inches. This is in front of town hall. Yeah. Looking across the street. Yeah. See the trailer? I don't know. I think that's. Yes. Let's clean house. Because that's, that's um, Ike and Dick, I think, on that trailer. Oh, wow. yep. oh. Ike and Dick. I was trying to figure out what the name is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So the man on the extreme yeah. left, I think, was Bob yeah. Keeler. I, 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 and he was uh, head of the Republican Party. The yeah. woman yeah. next to him is Nancy yeah. Carol Draper. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who is it, Barbara? Yeah. Nancy yeah. Carol Draper. Yeah. Oh, okay. Could that name Canton be... Yes, man on the right. But Harvey Canton. that previous picture, when you said Canton, oh, oh maybe it's Canton. Yeah, the, the spelling. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's true. No. It's right. very similar. Yeah. 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 yeah, it is. But you know, what, I'll take another look at that envelope, yeah. and then yeah. with that, in, with that in mind. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Pete. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's Pete, a good check. I don't know who's the one. Politician in the middle is though. I think it's Prescott Bush. Yeah. Yes. Right, Sally. Oh, that's the right card. Does it have like a yeah. yeah. like yeah. H, that, w when, 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 you, when you say that, yeah. Because yeah. he would have been running at 50, the same time. 52, he pressed Bush yeah. would have been in his age. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's going to That makes sense. Yeah. 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 I didn't know that man on the left, I thought about it. That's probably the worst thing Sandy's father. Huh? Sandy's father. She was our second yeah. grade teacher. She, I had her for second grade. So did yeah. I. We yeah. all did. <laughs> <laughs> we had Mr. Hearn for first grade and Miss. Well, who was the other one? There was another second grade teacher. Though. I just, was, when I was there, one was of just the Mr. Readings. Hearn and Miss Kilcoin. Yeah, there was two of them. Yeah, there were two. Each mm -hmm. class had two. Who was the other second grade? Yeah. I, know. I, I had Miss Potter in second grade. There you go. No, no, no. no, no. So Miss Potter no. was fourth. We all said she always smelled so good. <laughs> and her race <laughs> I was wondering where that was going. Miss Betsy, make sure you get that in the middle. Miss Kilcoin was in the second classroom on the right. On the boys' club, boys' and girls' club. She was wonderful. We loved her. Yeah. 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 So, so there's two two photos uh, here of the same thing, and all it said on the envelope was McHugh at 1956. Well, we don't know where it is, or maybe who some of these folks the are. Is this the Knights of Columbus poem on um, Willow Road? Road? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. That we, made we room where you walked yeah, down the yeah, stairs. Yeah. 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 I think that's where that was. They used to have a lot of theaters there. Practice. Breakfast, yeah. Uh, maybe maybe breakfast? the second photo might help yeah. because these were in the same envelope. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Um, we, didn't, we didn't know any of them. Yeah, I, I think it's uh, or what they might be doing. I mean, clearly there's toys. Yeah. There. Toy drive? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, big train. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. 
Very sweet touch. Mm -hmm. well, the clarity is amazing. Isn't it? Could yeah, this be the twenty? Yeah. The twenty be the switch? Well, see that woman's got a toy car, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it's a doll and. Uh, oh yeah. Maybe toy clinic Brady? people. Yeah, Look maybe. at the things on yeah, the shelves that back there. Is that a train? Yeah. It's up on the mail. That for many years they had a toy clinic that yes. were Mrs. mostly Mrs. women, I think, volunteered. Was it at the thrift shop, Jack? Uh, I, I think it was a community center. Oh, the community center. They oh. met. But, that would make um, more sense than, yeah. than, right. than Columbus because it's that's got a fireplace. And yeah. that big room didn't have a fireplace in it. Yeah. No. Would that be the upstairs meeting room in the community? Room or down I would think this would be a main floor. Yeah, it looks like a main floor. With a fireplace like that. And like that. Right. They don't have windows that like that. Mrs. Carnell on the right no. here. No. The last one. Yeah. Like Mrs. Carnell. I like the expression on the yellow lady. <laughs> All the hats. Mm -hmm. yes. hats. <laughs> a lot of hats. Yeah. 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 On Route Seven and park it, and she'd go work out of that, that van. I don't. That might be my sister for all I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh, wow. So it's a big truck. That, she worked on that Meals and Wheels when she was in. And they school. sold the, the food down it, in that. It was up by where the uh, they parked it up, up by where the uh, BMW in, the, in that oh. area there, the and they sold sandwiches. Wow. So that doesn't look like my sister. No, but but Jim, what's there. what's in the back? We couldn't figure out what's in the back. The house and garage. Where would that be? Mm -hmm. yeah. All I remember is they parked her up on the. She would. She was too young to drive. I think they they parked. Uh, she didn't have a license. They leave her up there all day selling sandwiches that they made me at the outpost end. Mm -hmm. wow. So this, food is truck. A, this oh. is also in the same collection. Looks like so it's they, a might, a they might have moved that around. Fox hunting for something. You know, different yeah. hats. It's a fox. Yeah. fox hunting outfit. So we don't know yeah. where. That looks like the Golden Bridge. Golden's Golden's Bridge. Bridge. Yeah. Over yeah. in yeah. Salem, yeah. So, Richfield's first food truck? <laughs> well, it looks yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Before dots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they called it Meals on Wheels, which... Meals on Wheels, that's kind of interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Be the old car. Yeah. So this was when the Colonel was still on? Yeah. No. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. 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 Here's Miss Hartman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Miss yeah. Hartman. Yeah. Hartman. Hartman. Which one? Hartman second on the left. Left. Yeah. 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 Second on the left. Yeah. With the pocketbook. <laughs> and she's away. Oh. Mrs. Whitlock? 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 See her in the back with the glasses? Oh, yes, that is her. Yeah, the yeah. music teacher. Yep. Oh, in the center. In the yeah, center in the with center. the glasses and the hat. Right. Mrs. Whitlock. 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 Yeah. Where is she? In the center with the, with the glasses. Is that Mrs. Hartman? Oh, yeah. Related to yes, Barbara Hartman? Hartman. No. 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 The Hartman no. photos. The Hartman photo people, yeah. And was her pop? Yeah, she was Elsa. 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 Mm -hmm. She was our, we have our social, social studies. studies. Yeah. Elsa. Where is she? I don't know. Is the other second one. Oh, okay. Let's see. This is also in that same collection. Mr. Crouchley. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Yeah. Who's the lady with the shawl? Yeah, I don't know. I was wondering if that's Clara Platt. No. She was on the school board, I think, for a while. Oh, I could guess. Was that Dr. Grimes on the left? I think it might be. He this was is, our superintendent. This is still East Ridge. Yeah, I don't know. It's PPA. Well, it had to be because it's the only 14 we had graduated yet. We didn't know where the others 
There was no other school. Yeah. Dr. Branch, did we ever in 56? No, that has to be the old high school. Mm -hmm. Then this is the um, same year, 1956, PTA dance. Yes. Dr. Uh, Dr. Izzo. Dr. Izzo, my dentist. We don't know who he is dancing. <laughs> I used to vote him as a kid, and every time I went in there, I dreaded it. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody had that feeling. Yeah, yeah, he, used to, he used to find like 15 cavities. <laughs> charge three dollars a cavity. I think he was making them up. <laughs> Use gas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gas. Well, that must have been fun. Remember Alice? We didn't get any of the gas again. Oh, yeah. Anybody remember the Hugh Golden Band? I remember the name. I remember the name. We remember the name, but we don't know. You too? Remember the name? We love this little girl. She's like singing her heart out. Yeah. And we don't even know who she is. We don't know. We don't even know who she is. Looks like they're doing some sort of it says Hugh Golden died in 2022. Wow. That's one of the things that we really yeah. noticed going through a lot of these photos yeah. is the cigarettes. Yeah. 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 And the men all had the hats. And the hats. And right. the women right. also, all, right. they were dressed, and they, some of them had purses and they had the, the, the gloves. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 I still have what are they clothes. drinking? Can you tell what it those bottles are? Yeah. There's a bag of bottles. Yeah, that's <laughs> early. Marlboro cigarettes. I mean, this was yeah. a PTA dance. Could it have been beer? I mean, could it have been alcohol? It could be another town. I didn't think of it that way. Oh, right. It doesn't have to be rich. Well, it's not the kids. Probably non alcoholic. No. Yeah, sure. Like, yeah. 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 Soda. <laughs> Dick Venus in the center, right? And isn't that Mrs. Nancy Carroll Draper? And Dick Paul Morgan. Paul Morgan. Yeah, Paul Morgan. There's a three selectmen. Dick Venus was a selectmen. Is that Mrs. Venus? Barbara, is that Mrs. Venus? Yeah, Barbara Venus. 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 Yeah, the extreme left, the first one is. It's not my penis? It's not my penis. It's not my penis. It's like just a picture. They're the selectmen. Black. That they give yeah. them from one person to another. Yeah. yeah. Was he, he was a Democrat. He was a Democrat. Well, so he was, was a Republican. Republican. Well, right? <laughs> the penis. But it's the Republican. Yeah, but they're just, just giving him. They were honoring so, him. Yeah. No, they're giving it to the selectmen, whatever it was. Yeah. Yeah, because he was on the board of selectmen. And Harry Hall was a Democrat, too? Yes. <laughs> Paul Morganti was a Republican. Yep. Hmm. Richfield Supply. Yep. Yeah. 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 So we have three, three photos in, mm -hmm. in different angles. Uh, 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 oh, oh, yeah. Look at that. You see the tracks in the foreground. Wow. Yeah, there's the train tracks. Mm -hmm. So what road is that coming out? So this would be looking up towards yeah. like the That's the uh, Gallo up at uh, the Italian club yeah. is on the right. The Italian club is on the left. That's the walk of on the, the right. Right. On, the on the corner yeah. of Grove and, and where Gallows is now. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Gallows House. And he had a um moving, moving business. Moving Mr. Walker. Storage. Right. Joanne Wally. Mr. and Mrs. Walker, and then across the street was the Latanzi 
Bessie Hudemaj. How about uh, yeah, 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 that was Mary's family? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your grandmother was yeah. she was dead yeah. 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 she was a dead a dead right on the corner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The trees, yeah. 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 I know the trees I, overhanging I, the road. Yeah, I yeah. miss love that. Miss seeing that. Yeah, exactly. I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at those big old trees. Yeah, other angle. Yeah. 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 We used to sleigh ride down that hill. Yeah, that's yeah. 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 Is that the movie house? Winter Nights. Yeah. That was yeah. 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 we did big deal. And then the uh, carbo the first the Petrignani's mm -hmm. and the Gasparini's had the grocery store, and then Mr. Carboni had it. Yeah. Yeah. Cozy, Cozy, Cozy no. Joe <laughs> Bernetti, before he had his own <laughs> business, <laughs> cut meat in the cut meat in that store. In the Hugo, store. Hugo Mount in there, worked in there? Yeah. Hugo. Hugo. Yeah. 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 Yes. Huh? He was a butcher. Yeah. Hugo. Yeah. And he lived on Grove Street. He lived right on the corner. No, on the corner where the Latanzi's, the yes. Bessies, yes. and the right Hermes. next door. And the next house is right. where Mr. Mountain. Alice, Alice, Alice is his wife, right? Yeah. Alice. Took care of my mother well, when she got older. Yeah. I couldn't really tell what the material was of the road. Is that asphalt or was that? That's black top. It was black top back then? Jim yeah. I, I, I can't believe that old tree. That was such a beautiful yeah, tree on beautiful. the left. That's the yeah. Sitting there. And Rich Hill Supply has grown. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, dear. Yeah. Yeah. I'll figure out who these people are. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I know the name. I think I have a left that looks I he has a familiar face, but it's more of a today face. So, uh, but it, it seems related. Related to uh, Frank H. Glee. Yeah. Oh. And she was she was there were Robinsons across the street, across Main Street from the community center in that. Oh, that's right, house? in the pink house. Yeah. yeah. The house that used to be pink. Oh. <laughs> I think that was after. Remember Lee yeah. Robinson? Yeah. Burn Robinson. Burn. That was in the 60s. Yeah. Yeah. The 60s. Yeah, I, I don't think I, I knew the faces of any. I wonder if they could be Lee family and Robinsons. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because Frank. Lee Jr. lived here, right? Yes. Frank H. Lee's son was in my class in grade school in Yes. Frank Lee. Yeah. Huh. How many kids were in your graduating classes back in those days? From the my, ours had six, well, 60 of record, not that, not <coughs> many, but yeah, someone died. 54 so had 39. 60, 39. 1960, mm -hmm. we had 60. 50, 57, 39. 61 wow. had 65. Wow. Oh, wow. That's, that's wow. like 60, 61. That's yeah. 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 We know that one. Yeah. Right. And yeah. Betsy, yeah. Well, you wanted this one yeah. in yeah. Eddie Allen. Eddie Allen. Eddie Allen. Oh, Eddie Allen. Allen. That's, that's right. right. It says uh, Scott oh. Winnie, 1956. You can't see that far. B. Scott's one. That was B, right, Patty? Yeah, I think, let's see. I do have a I think this was at the old Mary, Mary, Mary. Methodist Church on the Main Street. Yeah, I think so we, yeah. there's some other shots of it. I want to get yeah. Mary, Mary. She and was up on uh, right. Soundview, the Scott family up there. B. Scott. Uh, they all rehearsed their smiles well. It's <laughs> 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 Yeah, that, that, yeah. that he used to have a good store. Yeah. 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 very name was Brad. That's where you went. Yeah, yeah, no, oh, they, uh, they, uh, yeah. yep. well, after they got married, she moved to what, the Bahamas? Yeah. yeah. And lived there for the oh, rest of her life. Right. Yeah. He so. was from the Bahamas. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Huh. Oh, and Ruth Hurts. Oh, that's, um, yeah, Hersler. Hersler. Marie. That's a good no, Rose. Rose. Marie or Ruth, I don't know. Ruth. That's Rose. 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 R
Was she a uh, town clerk? Marie was the probate manager. Marie was probate. Ruth was town clerk. Yeah. So she's swearing in uh, the judge. Yeah. That was Ruth. She'd be swearing in. Was at a bakery in town. Yeah. She was so little. Or we see that for them. No, she was short. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was. Mm -hmm. this yeah, this is an interesting one. It just says Spencer Specialties Company, 1955. Mm -hmm. But we didn't know where this was. Or <laughs> right at the fair. At the fair. Oh, uh, Danbury yeah. Fair. Because people are all dressed up watching this yeah, tractor and this money field. Yeah, why the be all dressed up? Look at that. Clearly, they're all <laughs> they're really, really focused in on what he's doing on right. the tractor. Yeah. yeah. You know? I like that lady. The style of the day. <laughs> <laughs> and the little girl with the white anklets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. They're really concentrating on the rear end of that. There must be. Plow or something. I wonder if he's plowing. Because they're looking, they're everybody's sort of looking at the yeah, very yeah. behind the back, it, yeah. the track, the back of the tractor. Yeah. Look at the tires and the tires. Yeah. Yeah. 1955. Does anybody recognize the name yeah. Spencer yeah. Specialties Company? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. okay. I bet that was at the fair. I bet it's fair, yeah. yeah. Even he's dressed up. Side of the tractor. Yep. Yep. Farm farm. Farm. That's what they had. The way he's dressed, I bet he's a salesman. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I yeah. Oh, wow. Can you sign the name? This says Stonehenge in 1955. And the sign is kind of faded behind it, but it's, um, um, it's Christmas seals. Oh. Huh. Christmas Cigarettes seals. again. Oh, it was broadcast. It was a big one on WLAD. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Fiona oh. used to interview and broadcast oh. it. Oh. 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 Interview like yeah. celebrities? Or? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he used to have a lot of celebrities. Uh, Gilbert, he used to have a lot of celebrities called movie stars. I think John Wayne was there. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, but Judy oh, Garland. Oh, yeah. yeah. Is that W L A D? You think? Yeah. Uh, Abe, Abe the Jamie was a real oversized. <laughs> worked with Paul Baker. I wonder oh. if that's him. Oh, Abe and Jamie. Yeah, he was a small man. Right. Huh? He was pretty small. <laughs> he was skinnier than that. Yeah, he was much thinner. Oh, totally just oh, yeah. <laughs> Not him. Maybe I got the wrong guy. One of them was really old as I had trouble walking. He had a present at the thrift shop. Two of the shops. Yeah. 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 A trunk. Yeah. Well, the trunk sale. The trunk sale. Oh, that's adorable. Isn't that cute? Yeah. That's cute. You're sitting in a trunk. Yeah. Recognize the ladies? No. Like a big steamer trunk. interesting because they said, you know, they've given away, yeah. what does it say, 2,500 or 23,000? 23, 23,000. Yeah. Now it's more like Millions? half mm -hmm. a million. Mm -hmm. wow. That's how much money the thrift shop makes. Mm -hmm. They do really, That's really amazing. well. Yeah. Is that when they were on Main Street? It's also yeah. I think so. <laughs> I think so, yeah. <laughs> Where were they on Main Street? Uh, right next to the counter uh, hall. Gordon Walsh made to be. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. And then that whole thing. 37 to 56, 20 years. Oh, okay. Thank you, 56. Mm -hmm. And then that's it for today. Great. Thank you to Keith Russell, who does yeah. just an amazing yeah. job. Amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome back to the live that was uh, 53 photos you looked at. Oh, really? Well, that's pretty good. An hour and a quarter. That's not bad. Have you done a lot more of these? Uh, scanned about 650 so far.
And and so are there a lot of them that you don't know who they are and yes. so forth? Yes. Corky has this gigantic screen computer that you know. You email him. I mean, we can email probably. Him. Yeah. I, he probably will identify so many of them. He's just so sharp. You'll have right. to give us his contact info. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely yeah. do and, that. Uh, be honest with you, he's been he's been sick over really the last sick. several months. He's been in and out of the hospital, oh. so oh. the information is <laughs> mm -hmm. very. Yeah. You need to get it now. Let's say that if we, the yeah. more you can get to him, mm -hmm. I mean he he loves to do this stuff because we'll sit there and he'll right. go through pictures with us for hours. It seems like yeah. and pull up the family photographs and and, and mm -hmm. identify these people. Of, God knows he's been around forever. His life's work. Yeah, um, right. Really. Mm -hmm. If anyone gets to Vero Beach or any place down there, I mean, he just loves to have company. You will just, you know. And when you were just talking to him, the, the caregiver is there now, so he's, he's and that's something he's never had before. So, right. mm -hmm. he's, he's, but he was super alert on the phone. I mean, it wasn't like he was like, I don't have my hearing aids in. I don't, you know. But I'll look on email. I'll look, you know. So. Um, I think he would love the task of looking at it, to be honest with you. Yeah, because he was about town until he got sick this, you know. I should say also that when, after they, he retired and he moved to, to uh, Felsner, Florida, he became just as involved there as he is here, yeah. as he was here. And he, they literally have dedicated a, an auditorium in their old high school to his, to, to him. him. Wow. And there's a big wow. plaque in there of dedicating wow. it for all the work he's done in Felsmere. Wow. It's, it's, he's really. And uh, he was just honored with a huge um, thing with the is it the Merchant Marine thing? He, oh. Yeah, he was he was he was in the Merchant Marine part of the Navy. He was actually on those guys that went on. The, he was a photographer in the, in the Navy, but they were assigned to the Merchant Marine. They were the guys that ran all the guns and things on the Merchant Marine ships. And so he's got a tremendous uh, inventory of that stuff, too. Mm -hmm. He established um, a Merchant Marine Museum down in Felsmore, and now it's become someplace else in Florida. They moved all their stuff. But, I mean, he's collected all this uh, memorabilia from World War II, and, you know, I mean, he really is a fabulous man. Well, thank you all for joining us. I want to also express my thanks to Keith Russell for the amazing work that he's doing here at the Historical Society, digitizing these amazing negatives that Corky um, took and sharing them with the community. Um, thank you to the Ridgefield Thrift Shop for the generous grant which allowed us to purchase these scanners and computers to make this project possible. Thank you to Betsy Reed, our collections manager, for leading the overall project and caring for the collections here for so long and thank you all for joining us um, our next gathering will be on uh, Tuesday December 19th here at 10 o'clock and our topic for that history club is Christmas memories so we want to hear all about your memories of Christmas when you were growing up and the traditions that you um, uh, practiced in your family and maybe some special gifts you received so we hope you could all join us next month um, thank you so much. Thank you.